Hey there Pathless Peddlers, in this video we're going to talk about the new Demi Pretour Rack by Rollin Cycles. Let's take a closer look. So welcome back if you're already a subscriber and if you're new to the channel, if you're into things like bike touring, gravel riding, and like to nerd out about things like panniers and racks, then consider subscribing because this is a channel for you. So the last two weeks has been kind of a big week for Rollins Cycles. Their hotly anticipated Ulf and Raven have finally landed. And along with those two bikes, they've also released two new racks. Uh, one is a typical randonneur rack and the other is a Demi Pertour rack. So Pertour racks have been uh, around for a very long time historically. Uh, in recent times, they've gained in popularity. Uh, they're just really useful in everyday commuting and also bike touring. But up until recently, most of the Portour racks that you could find uh, were really big. And when you put that on the bike, you could really feel that front end flop. But recently there's been a trend towards uh, taking that Portour rack and shrinking it down just a bit. So you still get the usability of that platform, but without all that mass and weight in front of the bike. When we were test riding the Roland Ulf, it came with their new Demi Portour rack and we got to take it through its paces. Uh, so this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the rack and my experience with it. First off, uh, the rack has a nice black finish. You know, some people are gonna dig this, some people are going to want a chrome uh, finish one, but uh, at this point, they, they've they only got the black one, so you have to live with that. So the rack attaches to three parts on your fork in the fork crown, and also on the mid fork eyelets of your fork. This is where things get kind of tricky here. Typically, when people think of a mid fork eyelet, they think of the eyelet that you use when you're mounting, say, like a tubus lowrider or something. But in this case, uh, this rack and the Rando rack work with an eyelet that's placed slightly higher than that typical lowrider eyelet. So if you've got a bike that has it, that's awesome. It's pretty much plug and play. But if you don't, uh, you can still use a rack, but you have to get creative and use P-clamps. So P-clamps, uh, although they look a little janky, actually work fairly well as long as you don't overload it too much and make sure that it's not slipping down the fork. So when you get the rack, it comes with two pairs of adjustable struts. Uh, they've got a straight pair, which you can use with your typical uh, road fork or rando fork. And they've also got this kind of offset strut that they've uh, included to use with their new bikes like the Ulf. Um, I did talk to some of the folks at Rollin and they are considering creating longer struts so you can actually attach it to uh, the low rider mounts. Uh, but their initial thinking was that using the mid fork eyelet makes a stronger triangle in terms of carrying loads. Also another interesting advantage of having the rack connect a little bit higher on the fork it really doesn't take away from the springiness of a fork. On the Demi Portour, it's got a bunch of eyelets uh, on it itself. It's got eyelets so you can secure a fender to it. It's got eyelets so you can mount a light either on the left or the right side or even right smack in the middle. And they've really thought about all the different things that people want to connect to the rack and have just included it in there. So another nice touch about this Demi Portour rack is that it features a traditional randonneuring tombstone. It's uh, slightly taller than usual. So this is uh, good and bad. Good in that uh, in our experience when we were using a bag like the Swift Industries Hinterland Ozette bag, uh, we could slide it on there and it, it was so tall that there's no way the, the bag was going to jump off of it. So between that and the Velcro, it seemed to work great even on rough single track. The one downside of this extra long tombstone is that it takes, you know, a couple seconds uh, longer to slip uh, the bag over the tombstone because you have to kind of wiggle it on there, uh, maneuver the bag beneath the uh, handlebar. In terms of the rack dimensions, it measures out to about 305 by 194 millimeters. And coincidentally, it's like the perfect size uh, to work with the Swift Industries Ozette. I don't think they work necessarily together uh, on this rack, but it just it's just a perfect fit. So another thing I love about this rack is the price. It comes in at $80, which in the world of Portour racks and Demi Portour racks is pretty good value. So that's it for this first look at the Rollin Demi Portour rack. Uh, I'm going to mount it on a couple of my bikes and give you guys another video update later on just to, to see how it works with uh, P-clamps actually to make sure that it doesn't fall off and slide and, and what have you. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave those in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer those. If you liked the video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want more videos like this, or if you want to be notified when uh, I come up with the updated review of the rack, then don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.